you're not going to pay. Like, what happened to all the good men out there? The gentleman who, who pays for the bills. What's going on, guys? Shot Clips here once again. And today, we're going to some crazy clips of the worst couples I can find. Now, look, always, guys, my favorite clip will be at the end. So make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But in this first one, it is definitely wild as well. This guy decided to get revenge on his cheating ex. But I just throw this one thing. My ex girlfriend just walked in here with a guy she cheated on me with. You already know the entire club was on his side with this one, and she'll probably never show her face to this bar again. Ask me what I'd do if we broke up. What would you do if we broke up? I would go back to my ex. What's that face for? You'd be dead before you get to him. Babe, <laughs> if we broke up, you'd be my ex. I see. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I had a whole rant ready just to unload on this woman, but thankfully she did save it at the end. Go out. Does this dress make me look fat? Promise you won't be mad, no matter what I say. I guess. I slept with your brother. Steven, I don't have a brother. Then who the f Sometimes you just can't let them know your next move. I was absolutely so confused. This is actually such a smart idea. Make sure she falls in love with you and not your money. If a girl doesn't make it to the second date, there's no reason she needs to see that kind of car. My boyfriend told me he was gonna go hang out with his friend because his friend just got cheated on several times at that by his girlfriend. And he just got back from hanging out and I was like, how'd it go? He was like, oh, it was good. We just played Mario Kart. I was like, oh, what do you say about the breakup? He was like, oh, we didn't talk about it. What do you mean he didn't talk about it? I don't understand. Sometimes men just don't talk about their problems that they know they cannot fix. And they just need some company so their thoughts don't cloud their mind. One of my things mm. that I like to do is <laughs> after my gym, I have like a schedule. I go to the gym every day at 1130. And then when I come back from the gym, I drink a protein shake. Mm -hmm. And I really like to give my man some morning and put his on my protein shake. It gives me some extra protein. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, my bad. gives me some extra protein and i feel like it keeps me thick and it's like feeding my muscles so literally <sighs> um I, I put i put in a lot of stuff i put it Ooh. in i have you know you i have a, a donut you know i have only fans <laughs> i have glazed donuts before glazed you have donuts y'all ate glazed don't like you never got a donut and let you go glazed eat. No. no, the fact that she says she likes in her protein, protein shakes. That's I mean, a good shake. workout drink. It's, it's just a little bit, but it adds about 20 extra grams of protein, believe it or not. First off, I'm going to completely ignore the fact that she made in the beginning about how she hits the gym daily and then takes a protein shake after. We can already know that's probably not true. But the fact that she proceeds to tell the entire world what she does intimately with her man and the kind of disgusting thing she says is absolutely unbelievable and goes to show that sometimes women just do not deserve to be on podcasts. If you have nothing valuable to share with the world, I don't think you should say it. So I've been asking the girls, if you had a man and he told you to change outfits because you're dressed too slut, what you tell him? Fuck you. We're done. You break up with him? Yes. Like, because you should never, like, tell your girl what to wear or what not to wear. Like, that's being controlling. You should, if you have a bad let her be a bad Isn't your man worth listening to a little bit? Now, if you're telling me what not to do or what to do, not okay. What if you were dating Jesus? <laughs> whoa! You don't bring Jesus. Whoa, whoa, wait, what they say? He loves everybody. No matter what. So, so you, you wouldn't listen to Jesus? Jesus wouldn't tell you that he would accept No, well, he wouldn't tell me that because he loves me. Oh, okay. For what I am. Yeah. If I want to dress like this, I can dress like this. All right, last question. What drink are we doing tonight? Oh, nothing. Sober? 
sober and single. <laughs> now this is gonna be an unpopular opinion, but women you meet at the club or on the street that dress like this most likely will not change the moment you start dating them, which is why you probably should avoid these kind of environments in order to find someone to date. A woman is completely lying to you when she says she dresses like this for herself. She is dressing for other men to look at her and doesn't want to ever give up that amount of attention. If a woman cancels on you on your date a few hours before the day of, then text her this. No worries, have a wonderful evening. And then you say nothing at all. It is not your job as a man to chase her down and to re-coordinate a new time when she is the one that has canceled on you. It is her job now to reach out to you and let you know when she's available and for you guys to find a mutually convenient time. If you don't hear from her, she just wasn't that into you in the first place. She's 100% correct. The moment you start persisting on after she rejects you the first date, it makes you really look super desperate. You gotta make sure you have a lot of other options and that just because this woman isn't into you doesn't mean that others will do the same. Always make it seem like she's not the only option. Have you and your friends decided to go have brunch, but then... It's always fun in games until the bill actually comes. A bunch of people ordering drinks, thinking that, oh, we're just gonna split this all evenly. But I guess at the end, we found out that everybody has to pay for their own thing. To love, here's to honor. If you can't come in her, come on her. <laughs> what? These kids, where do they come up with this shit? I don't know. Say it. I'm gonna put you on with somebody. Who? Wait, let me see. One sec, she's shyness right now. She's really shy. <laughs> Hell no. Rejected. That is absolutely foul, but what do you expect when meeting someone online? They're not gonna care what they say to you. Sometimes women pull out the purse so it can seem like a nice gesture and that they're actually willing to pay. However, sometimes they literally have nothing in their purse. And I find that absolutely sad. Some of you wanted older men as well. We didn't judge you for that. We just right. said, cool, yeah. is what it is. You know why? The reason you don't judge them for wanting older men is because men are more like an asset appreciating in time. Mm -hmm. Women are more like a liability that depreciates rapidly with time. And subconsciously, you're all bothered by the fact that, you know, as you age, your value is declining, so you have to create a psychological superstructure that makes guys feel guilty about wanting younger women. Because we can sit back and pursue younger Damn. women infinitely. <laughs> and so you have to make them feel guilty so that they behave and they consider you like when you end up like her. So when you end up 30 years old like her with two divorces, you still want to be accessible and appealing to guys like me when in reality I travel around the world and chicks will holler at me who are 18, 19, 20, 21. And I could probably do this for another 10 years. And so you really realize that here's the biological reality once you get past that 30 you start creeping into something called menopause and menopause is a cold it's motherfucking thing yeah, the fact that he put this woman on the spot and started pointing at her immediately is absolutely wild to me and the fact that this woman already had two divorces before 30 goes to show that she probably will never be wifey material i mean she's on this podcast full of only fans women so you can kind of guess what she does as a profession and kind of understand why she had two divorces let me ask you though could a woman with two divorces ever be wifey material or is that ruined forever i've been single for a year and deleted and re-downloaded the apps at least a million times. I finally said yes to a date, and I'm gonna tell you why I said yes to that date. And was like, okay, that's your favorite restaurant? Great, I'm gonna make reservations for us at this time on this night. Like, yes, please! Why is it so hard to find somebody to do that? Everyone else is like, hey, what's up? What's your schedule? Maybe we can go for a walk. Or like, I don't know, what do you wanna do? Like, show me that you want to do something. Like, take 
charge be you have to understand the thing about dating apps is majority of people on there are going on there immediately after a breakup so the majority of people you are meeting are ones who just want a quick rebound who don't want actual commitment and just need some quick validation so of course men are going to be extra cautious with women they take out on dates because they're not trying to blow money on women who might just look at them as a rebound it makes complete sense are you not going to pay for my bill no i'm not going to pay your bill really you're not going to pay like what happened to all the good men out there the gentlemen who pay for the bills you really not gonna pay like not even half no i'm not paying anything not even half the bill really you should be ashamed of yourself i cannot believe this right now why can't you just pay half i don't understand i don't even know you who, you who mean, are I you why are you gonna be so cheap? Like, just pay for it. I don't even know you. What, have, have we oh ever met? God. I don't know you. All the good men out there that pay for the bills completely got destroyed the moment feminism became a thing. Women love to say things like they don't need to respect a man. A man can't tell them what to do. They're very independent and then they make their own money. However, when it comes to, I guess, paying the bill, things switch. It doesn't make sense to me. I'm sorry. He always comes back is not a flex. Of course, he's gonna come back to check if you're still stupid. Were you silent? Or were you silenced? But that does it for you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys want more content like this, please click the videos that you guys see at the top of the screen. It does help my channel a lot. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.